Okay, so now we come to the part where we install a graphical interface that sort of remote controls our, um, our Lightning Network node. So we're going to be using um, Ride the Lightning, which is a graphical uh, interface on the web. Um, it's, it, it, it appears on your web browser and it looks something like this. Um, so let's just get installing here. The prerequisites is a functioning and synced LND Lightning node. Check. Uh, we also need Node.js, which can be downloaded here. So let's open up a, um, a new tab and install this. Um, we'll go down to installing Node.js via Package Manager, and then we'll go Debian and Ubuntu, and we will click on this website here. Okay, so we want to do the uh, installation instructions. And basically what we need to do is take uh, this package and install it. So let's copy this and paste it through to our terminal. And we will install Node.js like so. Okay. Okay. Uh, the other thing that I would make mention of is now that you've got M NPM version, uh, so you can see that that's now there. Um, the other thing that I would do is just make a directory for um, installing all of this information or, or installing these uh, pieces, these these this software into a directory that is um, outside of a root user access so in our home directory rather than in um like usr bin um so basically what we need to do is make a directory called npm dash global i'll do that there okay so now we have when we ll we've got um an npm global folder uh which is there the next thing that we'll do is we will set the prefix to go and install everything to there the reason that we're doing this is because um, when you just type in npm install, it'll um, install in a folder that is not controlled by this user. It's controlled by root, um, and so we don't we'll we'll end up with lots of permission errors. So we're trying to remove ourselves from that. So I'm just going to set prefix as that. Um, and then we need to open up our profile uh, file. So uh, nano.profile and then down the bottom I'm scroll all the way down and I'm just going to add this line here and paste that through it's just an export path to that place so control x y and enter and then I'm going to put those into effect by typing in source um, dot profile okay so now we're ready to install um, Ride the Lightning. So let's go over to the releases section and we will download um, this file here. Uh, what we'll also do, <laughs> okay, uh, we are going to extract it. But this is going to be a three. Let's move it to our home directory. So move RTL to um, our home directory. And we will CD and we'll change that to uh, move RTL um, and make it RTL. Okay. So now we have a directory uh, called RTL. We'll CD into there. And we will npm install this adding dash dash a legacy dash peer dash depths. So let's see what happens here. Okay, so that looks like it has built. Okay, so from here, I'm going to go back to the main uh, repository. And now I'm going to configure uh, the JSON file. Um, so let's take a look at that. So let's ls here. Um, we've got this sample uh, RTL uh, config file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the sample and I'm going to change that or 
and I'm going to name it to rtl-config.json. And so now I've got an RTL config.json and I'm going to go nano RTL config.json and I'm going to modify this. So the password, um, you know, you need to change this to something a little bit more um, palatable. Uh, so you'll change it to whatever you want, but I'm just going to go with password one, two, three. Yeah, so we're going to fill out this form basically. And uh, yeah, so we've got node one. Um, you can call it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Uh, this is an LND node. Um, so LND for that. Um, and here, the macaroon path. So in terms of that, that's in your dot CD LND. Oh, sorry. And list that out. We'll go to data and then we'll go to chain, Bitcoin, mainnet. And here is your admin uh, macaroon path. So we will change this. To home slash Satoshi slash dot LND slash data slash chain slash Bitcoin slash main net. Okay, config path is going to be to your LND um, folder. So LND.conf. So we need to change that to home slash Satoshi slash dot LND slash LND dot conf. Now the swap macaroon and the bolt macaroon, I'm just going to leave these blank for now. Um, we will change them a little bit later um, when that sort of, um, yeah, when we download lit. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll do that. And same thing with bolts. Um, so we will remove that uh, for now, okay? Um, everything else um, you sort of can leave as is. Oh, the channel backup path, I would recommend setting a channel backup path. Um, let's do it, put that into uh, home slash Satoshi slash, maybe we create one in our home directory uh, and we call it LND backup. So make directory LND backup. So we'll just put um, LND backup as that as well. Okay. Um, everything else, I guess, can be left about the same um, as is. And we'll control X, Y, and enter. Um, and now what we need to do is start the server. So that is node RTL. Let's see what happens. Okay. So it says here the uh, server is up and running. Open up the UI at port 3000. So let's try that. Uh, 192.168.55.30 port 3000. And we are in the Ride the Lightning um, uh, interface. Password 123, which is what I set earlier. Invalid password. Let's have a look. What have I done there? 1223. Okay. And now I am in my Lightning Network node. Um, so you can see here my first Lightning node, which is the one that I set as the as the um, as the alias. Uh, you've got your on-chain side of things here. You've got Lightning going through here. Um, so your peers and your channels, if you want to open up a channel, this is how you would go about it. So if you wanted to open up a channel, uh, you need to fund this wallet um, that is backed up by those 24 words. You generate an address, you send um, uh, Bitcoin to this address, and then you use that Bitcoin to open up channels. Who do you open up channels with? Well, this is the um, age old question. Uh, I'm no expert in, you know, figuring out who to open up channels with. However, I think if you listen to um, a, a podcast, uh, SLP, I think it's 367 with Nate. Um, he goes through some ideas on who to open up channels with, how big those channels should be, uh, and basically bo bootstrapping a node. Um, that is something that you can sort of um, mess around with and, and play around with here. Um, and so you've got transactions, uh, these will be, you know, if you want to send a payment, then, you know, you put the payment request, um, the, the LN invoice in here, uh, and you can send that payment through, um, routing, if you're doing routing, um, all the reports will come through here. 
and show you how how much you've routed over the Lightning Network. Uh, the backup stuff, as I said, you know, if you want to back up all, uh, you can do so. So just hit um, backup. The other thing, and so in LND backup, you should see a file called channel dash all um, dot back. You will need that backup file um, when you want to restore. Say, say for example, everything blows up. You will need your twenty four words plus this channel backup file. So you may want to just download the back. Um, so you may want to hit the download backup uh, button as well. That you can save onto like a USB. Um, so yeah, you can keep a backup. I would frequently, um, you know, uh, yeah, as it says here, save your backup files in a redundant location. And then when you go to restore it, um, this is where you would go to um, restore it as well, okay? Um, now the services here, loop, um, obviously, unable to connect to server, you'll see some error codes here. Bolts, same thing. We'll fix that when we install lit in just a moment. Um, but basically, uh, that is all for RTL. I'm going to stop this service um, by pressing Control C. You'll see that this is now um, no longer active, so you won't be able to access this anymore. Um, yeah, so it, it, it's, it's a dead server. Uh, what we'll do is we'll start this thing on boot. So let's see if I can get the, here it is. Here's the uh, system D um, stuff that we need. So let's uh, just copy this. Um, sudo no, etc systemd system um, and we'll do rtl.service and we will paste all of that in like so. Um, and the full path to RTL is slash home slash Satoshi slash RTL slash RTL. The user will be Satoshi and that should, should be about it. Pseudo systemctl enable RTL dot service pseudo systemctl st uh, start RTL dot service and sudo systemctl status rtl.service. And you can see that that's active and running. So now when I go back and refresh this page, bang, I am in. Um, password, one, two, three, and I should be able to log in. Okay, now the other thing that I want to um, make mention is that uh, you've got public key. Um, this is uh, your public, your node's public key, your node URI, this is the address, the onion address attached to it as well. Um, this is how, if you want somebody else to open up a channel to you, you would give them the node URI, they will connect to you over the Lightning Network and then open up a channel with you. That will give you inbound liquidity, okay? So that's what you would use to, um, uh, that, that's your identifier um, on the Lightning Network, okay? So that's basically it in terms of RTL. Um, Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to support the work that I'm doing, head on over to ministryofnodes.com and click on the support button. I accept Bitcoin, Lightning, PayPal, and credit card. If you want one-on-one -on -one consulting, head on over to the consulting page and book in into my calendar widget. I can help you with holding your own keys, running your own node, and privacy best practices. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.